Test is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, and uh, thank you for joining the ABDS webinar series on Genesis Decisions. This is Luke Johnson. I'm the Director of Strategic Accounts with ABDS. Um, we're going to be running through a kind of an exciting 30-minute presentation on um, an add-on application for the Genesis Peer Connect platform um, that adds, you know, a number of things that we'll talk through today. Um, sort of the overarching theme is strategic planning, which includes what-if staffing analysis, um, budget planning, and some other forecasting tools for the contact center. Um, our presenter for today will be Steve Kasiba, who's the Global Product Marketing Manager for Workforce Engagement Management Solutions with Genesis. Um, and has worked with the decisions application for uh, for a number of years. So as uh, I think we're still seeing a couple people um, joining in, um, but to kick things off, I will uh, launch a quick poll. Uh, we're looking to get uh, just an idea of how your contact center is creating and managing strategic staffing and budgeting plans. Um, so I think that'll be open for um, about a minute, if you wouldn't mind going in and uh, letting us know how you're currently managing that, that would be uh, a great segue for Steve in uh, introducing the decisions platform. All right, a few responses still floating back in, so we'll hold off uh, just another minute. All right, looks like everybody has had a chance to, uh, to respond. So I'll go ahead and close that poll. And uh, interestingly enough, and this is what we, we see oftentimes when asking contact centers how they currently manage these elements, uh, Excel spreadsheet. So 100% of the folks uh, in the webinar presentation today are using Excel spreadsheets for that. And I think Steve will be able to point out a few ways we might be able to do things a little bit better. Um, so with that, I'll, I'll hand it over to Steve Kasiba for a presentation on Genesis Decisions. Great. Thanks, Luke. I really appreciate it. Second. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Decisions or Genesis Decisions product. You know, if, if you were to talk about, uh, if you were asked a workforce management professional what a definition of workforce management, you would hear about getting the right amount of agents at the right time in order, in order to hit their service goals. But there's really two pieces to this. The first is about managing the day of operations. It involves scheduling agents and making sure as things change throughout the day, people call in sick or volumes come in higher than expected, that the operation can flex and still deliver the service to their customers. But the second part is making sure that you have the right number of agents available in the first place. The other pro this other process, the capacity planning process, ensures that when the doors open at the contact center on Monday morning, the right amount of agents sit down to the desk. This process is managing uh, the seasonality of the call center and making long-term resource decisions. There we go. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what decisions is. Decisions is a long-term contact center strategic planning and what-if analysis system. It basically replaces the Excel spreadsheets and the manualization of, of long-term planning by hand. What we first do is we first take your contact center data or versions of multiple contact center data because it's specific to your company, and we pull it into your, our tool. And by doing that, we reduce the time and effort that you take manually to chase data and verify data that is accurate within a spreadsheet or multiple spreadsheets. So we pull that in. And then what we do is we do four steps. We forecast all the things that go into a plan, volumes, of course, but also handle times, sick times, agent attrition, outbound contact rates. And then what we do is we very accurately determine exactly how many agents you need week over week or if you know how many agents you expect to have, very accurately tell you what your service levels are, your abandons, cost, or revenue, or your customer service, service scores or profit is. 
And then what we do is we take week over week staffing requirements and develop a highly efficient just in time hiring overtime vacation and training plan. And then what we do is we roll it out into a budget. So we take all those steps that you typically will do manually and we use all the metrics that you consider within a contact center and we do all those things within a matter of minutes. If, because it's so quick and because it's so accurate, we change what planning is all about. Instead of it being a once in a while planning exercise, planning becomes a decision maker's crystal ball. You're able to answer any what if questions like evaluating the cost and service repercussions of internal, uh, internal or external changes to the operation. Benefits of decisions. Again, benefits complements your WFM system. We have an excellent hard return on investment because in, in our simulation process of your, your contact center, uh, we are not using uh, Erlang and we're able to consistently save at least five to 10% annually our agent paid hours. It, the tool is also product agnostic and works with w, any WFM tool. Um, the ROI is also good with at least 100 plus agents to thousands. Um, it's multi-site, multi-channel, inbound, outbound, back office, email, chat, anything. So if you have a sales group in one area or you have a contact center in the opposite side of the country, um, they tend to behave de differently. They're, they're, how they, they work is different. It's cloud or premise. And basically what we do is we pull in your ACD data and we pull in shrinkage. And we, we typically prefer 12 months, uh, but three months are fine that we, when we, we start using the product, we start simulating your contact center. And what this does is, again, it, it eliminates the chasing down and validating data within spreadsheets and errors. So we replace dozens of spreadsheets within companies, and it, it completely changes how you work within a company. So typically how we work is, we, 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 when we're selling this to a company, we are, we are going through a return on investment plan. And during the three months of the training process, we're showing you that instead of manually doing things and working through the system, what your ROI will be during that three months. And then we're able to show you from that point on to the end of the year what the cost savings will be. So it completely changes um, how we work and how you work within the company. And the interesting part is, we typically, uh, the agents will, will use the system and they'll get something out and they'll do everything by hand. They go, oh my God, it's accurate. Because we can, within the system, we can press a button, we can show what the, your, your, your contact center is doing, and we can show exactly how close the simulation is hugging that curve. Um, and because we can pr actually guarantee that return on investment, it completely changes who you are within the company. And on top of it, the soft ROI is that you're able to answer any what if in a matter of minutes, and even complex what ifs. Um, some of our better customers take their, their computer to the boardroom and when executives or operations folks are asking questions, they're able to make quick uh, responses and tie everything to either cost or revenue implications. So every decision has um, a relevant response that is accurate and, and you can show that even post. Um, the other thing is um, because 70% of all costs within a contact center is labor, uh, you can use the system to actually do your annual uh, budgeting. So instead of the budgeting quarter, you can do it in the afternoon with your various departments. The, the interesting thing that it, it does when you first start using the tools, you start working better with your HR team because the system will tell you that based on a certain uh, training schedule, let's say six weeks, that you need 20 or 15 R uh, FTEs. And if you don't hit that, you're able to show what that does to all your service levels and your costs and revenue. So it becomes an interesting first step with your HR, but then your operations team starts you know, counting on this. And then it becomes then your proactive uh, tool that you're able to answer anything within a any changes within your business, whether there's any seasonality within your business, anything and everything you're able to to use the tool for. Um, I wanted to show you uh, ROI from one of our customers. Um, this shows what happens when you add decisions to a long term or uh, decisions to a WFM uh, system. Uh, this graph is from our, one of our customers, Optum, that they created uh, post-implementation uh, and they allowed us to use. 
if you look at the first graph on the left, um, they are plotting occupancy versus service levels at the contact center. And this data was taken from their interval ACD reports. It's their actual history of their contact centers. The graph on the right shows the impact how decisions made. Now, if you look at the left uh, graph from left to right, Optum went from a good operation to a great operation by doing two things. They first started use, using our product, and second, they put an emphasis on managing the events in their contact centers weeks in advance. So again, as I said, that the tool complements your intraday and your day-to-day. -day. It really, when you combine the two, it really works well. Um, they look past today and they looked at ways at how they can manage events weeks in advance. So it's a very cool tool that they showed us how uh, it affected them. I also wanted to talk to you about uh, a new enhancement that we have we have just uh, are launching this year. Our customers are getting in it later on uh, this this fall, um, where we've improved our forecasting tool. And what we've done is we have we can take any time series data and we can actually give you the best possible forecast. And how we do that is is pretty exciting. Uh, the first thing we do is within the system because you're creating. Uh, various forecasts based on various scenarios that you have set up. You know, you can have dozens of forecasts within within the tool. But what this new forecaster does is it's basically a cloud-based machine learning and automated long-term forecaster. And what we do is we take that data and every week when it comes in and you have a uh, administrator that will every week will look at the data coming in, make sure it's it's good, and they'll click a button and it'll add to the system. So again, week after week, years out, you're able to forecast. But within the new forecaster functionality, what we've done is we've taken all those scenarios and we pulled them into the cloud, whether or not you're cloud or prem based. And what it does is then you have a limited amount of CPUs that you're able to to go through these various forecasts. So it's time series data, volumes, handle times, sick times, anything. And what it does is it first finds any outliers, it search for any missing data, and then it finds anything mathematically correct as a replacement. And then it searches for pattern detection. Does it have a positive trend or a negative trend? Does it have any seasonality? Uh, is the season, is series stationary? And then what it does, it takes 25, um, uh, mathematical models and then it takes all the versions of that and it chooses the best uh, the best fit for the description of that data and it goes through hundreds of thousands of, of basically forecasts for you and in that pulls the best forecast for that data pro provided it's a very cool tool um, you know the, the you're going from an auto, a, a manual process of doing spreadsheets to a tool that allows you to tinker with and make assumptions and make changes. But we're doing a little bit of machine learning here where every week it's allowing you to spend a little bit more time do, becoming that analyst that you want to and, and analyzing the data. So it's a pretty cool tool. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, I, I would love to answer any questions that you have. Um, our, our customers are very passionate about this product. Out of all the, the products we have within Genesis, uh, Decisions customers are the most passionate customers because it completely changes how you work within your contact center. You work better with your WFM teams, um, and it's just a great tool. And, and you know, uh, one of the things that I would love to show you if you're interested in the tool is is uh, ask for about an hour and a half of your time to actually go through the demo of the tool. Um, what we do in that is we, we talk about the product a little bit if you bring in additional folks to listen in, um, but then we're able to show you all the various um, metrics and things that we go through. But then you can come to us and say, this is our what if, this is our challenge, this is what we're doing, and we're, we can immediately get on the computer in the demo and show you how we go through that. Um, and it's just a, an excellent tool. So I, I would love to open up any question you have, and uh, again, appreciate your time. Thanks, Steve. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to enter them into the uh, question pane in the GoToWebinar interface. Um, if we aren't able to get to all the questions in the time we have, we can uh, certainly follow up individually and we will uh, reach out uh, to everyone who attended today to see if there are any follow up or, or questions. Um, but if there's anything Steve can answer while we're live on right now, go ahead and uh, give everybody a minute to enter anything in that they'd like or uh, or um, 
I think there's a raise your hand function in the GoToWebinar tool as well. All right, looks like there is uh, one question here and I'll throw this to you, Steve. It looks like a clarification on something you touched on. Um, asking if the platform is, uh, it says, so this is platform independent and I'm guessing it's referring to uh, ACD and workforce management solutions that a customer might have in place. Yes, we, you know, the, the system is very easy to use um, and it works, it's product agnostic. It, it works separately from, from any WFM tool that you have. Um, you know, it's important to have a WFM tool first, but this tool is product agnostic and it works easily with anything. Okay, yep. excellent. Um, another question that just dropped in. Um, can you talk about a little bit about what the implementation uh, phase looks like, specifically discovery, and mm -hmm. how you identify what an organization's objectives are? Oh, excellent. Yeah, th that's a great question. Um, th the good part is um, all of our sales team um, are ex-users. Um, uh, one of our, our sales guys uh, actually uh, was in your position for several uh, companies and he bought and uh, bought the product twice and then eventually became a salesperson of it. Um, the sales team is very passionate about making you successful. Um, and during the process, and, and actually the, the hour and a half discussion starts with a little bit of discovery because we, we want to find out what your pain points are. We want to know what, what ifs you're, you're having difficulties with um, or, or being able to answer quickly. Um, any, any scenarios that, that you have um, that we're able to answer. Um, but it, during the process of selling, um, what we do is we come up with a, um, we, we come up with information that we pull from you that allows us to put in a, a ROI plan that during the, the, the process of, of training you within this, um, that you're able to execute. Um, and again, the, the training process typically takes about three months. Um, the first thing again that I talked about is uh, making sure that we're, we're pulling your, your data in correctly. Um, and in that process, we typically look at ways if there's any data that there's errors coming in or missing data, those type of things that we're able to shore up. Um, and then that can be a variable um, process, but the, to pull it in is a very easy thing. Um, but once we get that, typically it's three months. Uh, we have an excellent training staff um, that really goes ab above and beyond. They, they work it like a Midwest company where you can talk to anybody at any time. Um, and again, our, we have an excellent user group uh, that is very passionate. Um, we, we met uh, this week at, at our Society of Workforce Planning Professionals um, here in, in Nashville. Um, but we also have um, a user group uh, training retreat that we typically do. We're doing one this fall with our users. Um, it's a small family, but it, like I said, it's a very passionate family, a very open family where you learn a lot and, and, and so forth. Uh, so the training is, is something that, um, that is fairly seamless. And, and again, we know that most people that work within this industry don't go to school for it. And, and, but they're, the folks that use this tool that, that work it the best are the ones that really have a, 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 a joy of asking questions and finding answers and being very open about, you know, what can we do here? What are our options here? And the good thing is the tool, as you're using it, you know, you're able to respond to, to your executive team and, and they may say, for example, you know, our marketing staff is going to be adding six seconds to our call. What is it going to do? And you're able to show them from a cost and, and revenue perspective. Um, so the, the learning of that is fairly straightforward. And once you start getting accustomed to the tool um, and, and again, some of the automated forecasting stuff that we're doing, it, it's a fairly easy process. Excellent. Thanks. Uh, last question that we've got in uh, the chat right now, and I'll take a stab at answering this one, Steve, you keep me honest. Um, it says customer hardware requirements, anything to be concerned about. So I think I, I heard you say earlier, the platform can be delivered uh, either on premise or uh, through a cloud delivery. Mm -hmm. um, and my guess here is with the cloud solution, no hardware would be needed on uh, on the customer's site, but in the instance they purchased a premise platform, um, they'd probably be responsible for sourcing the hardware for the decisions application. Is that correct? 
That's correct. And, 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 and frankly, it's, it's a very easy system. Um, again, it's, it's, it's basically a, a, a computer. <laughs> it's, it's really, really uh, not, not a big deal. Um, we, we typically, you know, as, as an industry, we typically are, are moving slowly towards that cloud um, because it's, it's such an easier way to get implementation, get update, you know, move through things faster. Um, and eventually, you know, in, in the next several years, you're going to see that. But again, we still support premise space because there are customers that still need that. Sure. Excellent. Well, I don't see any other questions um, coming in. So like I mentioned, we will um, we'll reach out and follow up, see if there are any takeaways or any additional questions from the folks who attended today. Um, but we certainly thank you for your time this morning. And uh, thank you again to Steve Kasiba for the great presentation. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.